What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm super excited because in this video I'm going to be showing you guys all the Altergeist combos you need to know if you want to play Altergeist in this format where Pukuri just was released in Brothers of Legend this past weekend. This card brings so much to the deck. I'm super excited to play this myself and I wanted to show you guys some different combos you can now do with Altergeist. But if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. We're at the brink of 5,000 subscribers. I'm really dependent on you guys to make it happen, but I believe you guys can make it happen. Hopefully by the new year, that's kind of the goal here. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I do appreciate every single one of you. I'm not gonna make this intro any longer than it needs to be. So let's get right into the combos. Okay, so for our first combo over here, I wanna show you guys one of the best combos you can do with Altergeist post Pukuri. And this is really important because Milaseek Pukuri is, is such a good combo together. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna normal summon your Milaseek, okay? But usually what Altergeist would do is you would go into like a Link Karibo or an All Mirage or something like that to get into your Multifaker. Now you don't need to do that because you have the Pukuri, which means you can automatically go into your Hextia with Pukuri in hand here. And you're summoning Hextia turn one, which Altergeist barely ever did before, if, if ever actually. So here you're gonna do this, you're gonna activate. Now, the nice thing about Pukuri is because when you're activating effects, you can actually chain block. So you can go chain link one Milaseek, chain link two Pukuri, and now you're not afraid of your Milaseek randomly getting hit with an Ash or something like that. So that's why that's really important. And then now you can obviously add your Faker. Um, this That's what you would probably do. You would probably add your Faker here because you've already used your normal summon. But again, it depends on what you have in your hand. This is a two card combo. So you have three more cards in your hand. If you already have a Faker in your hand at this point, let's just say you did, then you wouldn't have to search the Faker. You would, could search a Marionetta for next turn. Um, or you can search a Conqueror even if you needed to to protect you from the battle phase. But here, if you let's say you have two traps, you can set your traps, you pass your turn, right? So I'm just showing you guys like hypotheticals because obviously we're not playing full test hands, just showing you guys quick combos. But yeah, let's say you have two more traps in your hand or, or three traps in your hand, right? Because again, you have five cards in your hand to start. You're only using two cards for the combo. So these could be traps. You set two, three traps. And then once you set the traps, you can activate your Faker on your turn. So now you're already setting up a Hextia and a Faker, which Altergeist never really was able to do before. They would always just set up either the Hextia or the Faker, or they would set up just like three traps and hope that, you know, like the Faker is going to go off, et cetera, et cetera. But with something like Pukuri now, you have these combo potentials that makes this deck insanely, insanely powerful. So again, you're literally with two cards ending on a Hextia. Now you guys might be thinking, oh, but Hextia doesn't have a negate here because there's nothing under it. Yes, that's true. But again, if you have four cards in your hand or three other cards in your hand, I should say, and any of those is a trap with the Milaseek combo, you're searching the Faker. The Faker is going to summon itself when you activate a trap. And then from there, what you're going to do is you're going to either put the Silkwoodus. Usually I like to put the Silkwoodus under the Hextia because then I'll summon the Faker. Silkwoodus bounce the Faker. Then you have Hextia to pop the Silk. And if you have an Altergeist trap card in your graveyard, that's even better because essentially then your Silk is going to activate, add your Altergeist trap back to your hand, etc, etc. So I'm just giving you guys examples, but there's so many combos now that you can do with Pukuri. And this is actually one of the most basic ones, but also one of the better ones in my opinion. Okay, so for our second combo over here, we're going to start things off with a Marionetter and a Multifaker. So it is a two card combo. All you're going to do is you're going to normal summon your Marionetter, you're going to activate the Marionetter effect and Marionetter is pretty much going to set you a Haunted Rock. Now, if you guys don't know this OG Haunted Rock combo, it's a really, really good combo. Uh, people stopped playing it with Faker, went to one. But now that Faker's back at three, it's been at three for a while, but now that Faker's back at three, Haunted Rock is really, really good. So Haunted Rock can activate itself because it was set off of the Marionetter. So here you're gonna pitch the Faker, then you're gonna activate the Marionetta effect to pop the Haunted Rock, to summon back the Faker, and now you're gonna actually get the Faker effect off. So turn one here, automatically you actually get your Faker effect without even needing any single traps, and that's really, really good. But what I like to do here is instead of actually going for the Silquitus, I like to go with the Milaseek because this is where the combo gets kind of kind of nasty. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna special summon your Hextia by using your Marionetta and your Milaseek over here. Okay, and you're gonna get the Hextia, but you're also gonna get the Milaseek effect off. Now this is important because now you can add a Pukuri. This is why Pukuri is really, really good because what it lets you do is it lets you combo like this in a deck that never really was able to combo in the past. So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna make your second Hextia with your Pukuri. And you're gonna get your Pukuri effect to go off again so you can add it back to your hand. So now you already set up double Hextia on your turn. And then obviously this is a two card combo. So you have three cards left in your hand. If those three cards are traps, you can set them. If those three cards, you know, let's say you have like two traps and another faker 
or something like that like you have full board here so here you have double hex deal already with essentially four cards in your hand here you only see one of course but of course you're starting off with five cards in your hand you're using two for the combo but you're adding the pukri so you're ending off with four cards in your hand with double hex deal on the board just a two card combo very simple and this is what pukri lets you do okay so for the third combo over here you are going to need a marionetter and a Milaseek. I just want to show you guys different hands, different ways to combo, depending on what hands you see. Because of course, all of these monsters are three ofs in the Marionetter, the Milaseek, the Multifaker. So I just want to show you guys all these different ways to combo. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon your Marionetter. Again, still your best normal summon. The Milaseek is really good as well, but it depends. Going first, I would say Marionetter is still your best normal summon, especially when you're playing something like Haunted Rock, because it lets you combo off. So here, we're going to set the Haunted Rock. Yes, Haunted Rock is kind of a brick. I understand it kind of sucks, but it lets you make the ceiling of this deck so much much higher that it's worth playing so here you're going to activate the haunted rock you're going to pitch the mila seek then you're just going to go marionetta pop the haunted rock summon the mila seek so it's this kind of like the faker combo the faker combo is of course a little bit better because you get an extra monster on board but uh this combo is still pretty pretty good so now what you're going to do is you're going to still set up your hextia turn one you're going to be searching your faker off of the mila seek here now again with the pukri combo it's a little bit stronger because your pukri is always going to chain block the mila seek which is nice but here you're just going to have a basic multi-faker hextia just with Marionette and Milaseek, just like that. So that's, that's really strong as well because I wanted to show you guys that Alter Geist, if you guys have ever played Alter Geist, you guys know that setting up Hextia with a Faker in hand turn one is always kind of difficult. But again, now with Haunted Rock, with these combos, you guys can do this now really, really easily. And again, depending on your hand, if you have a different hand, you don't have to search the multi-faker, right? I'm just showing you this as if you didn't have a multi-faker, but if you already had a faker in hand, then you could search a Pukri. Or if you had a faker in hand, you could search a Conquery or a Marionetta for next turn. So you have so many different ways, but this is just a way to set up Hextia plus multi-faker uh, turn one right away. And then those other three cards in your hand, assuming like one or two of them are traps, you just set them, you have the faker for next turn, etc., etc. You guys know how it goes from there. This combo is very simple, very basic, but it's very effective. So remember the second combo where we use Marionetta and Multifaker to end on double Hextia? Well, let me show you guys how you can do a different combo with the same hand and it's just going to end up on a little bit of a different board. What you're going to do is again, the same standard Marionetta normal summon, search the Haunted Rock, or not search, but set the Haunted Rock. What's really nice about Marionetta is that it can't really get ashed because you're setting a card from your deck, right? So this is really powerful. But yeah, so we're going to go Haunted Rock here. We're going to pitch the Faker. Then we're going to use the Marionetta, pop the Haunted Rock, summon the Faker back, like pretty standard stuff here. Faker is going to get its effects off which is really, really strong again, like this, that's really powerful. So Faker's gonna get effects off, summon the Milaseek, okay? And then here, you, what you can do is you just go into your first Textia, um, and then you're gonna Milaseek effect, and Milaseek is really nice because he's gonna search you a Pukuri over here, which is super, super dope in my opinion. So you're gonna search the Pukuri, and again, so here in the last combo, we just made double Hextia. Now what's really cool about this is now you can make, if you wanted to, instead of double Hextia, you can make the new Altergeist Forgive me if I'm saying this name wrong, but me more Gant. What? Bro, it literally says memory Gant. Memory. Why can I not read memory? I was reading it as me Marie. Memory. Memory. Why did I say it like that? I don't know if there's a different name in the TCG, but uh, this is the new link for it. It is coming out in Brothers of Legend. This card is really, really good. So if you guys want me to read it just because my face cam is on top of it right now. So what it does is during the battle phase, quick effect, you contribute one other monster this card gains attack equal to the attack of the tributed monster had on the field. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. And if you do, this card can make a second attack in a row. If this card will be destroyed, you can banish one monster from your graveyard instead. So it's a protection effect. And then you can only use each effect once per turn. Now, the reason this is really important is because, again, most of the combos I've been showing you so far are for going first, right? So when you're going first, what you end up doing is you make double hex deal because making this going first is not that great. But let's say you were going second. This same combo that I'm showing you guys right now is really, really good going second because instead of making double Hextia, you can now use the Pukri, the Faker, as well as the Hextia to summon the new Meme Morg. Again, I'm going to say this, the Link 4. I'm just going to say Link 4 from now on, all right? So you can summon this, and you have a bunch of effects that are going to trigger now. So first thing is you're going to trigger your Hextia. Hextia is really good here. And again, you can chain block with your Pukri, which is really, really nice. So you're going to Pukri, add it back, and you can go Hextia effect here. And now Hextia effect, at this point, you can search any card. So it doesn't really matter what you search at this point. What I would say is, depending on what your hand is, you search different cards. So here, for example, let's just say we had a bunch of trap cards in our hand. You wouldn't really want to search the traps, right? You would probably want to search something like a Marionetta for next turn 
or a faker or something like that. So it depends on what you have in your hand. Again, I'm not going to show you guys like this is what you need to add in this case. But again, so you're going to add, let's just say a faker for next turn. Let's just say you can add a faker for next turn or you can add a, a conqueror. It, it doesn't really matter what it is, right? Even you can add a manifestation if you wanted to, to give this card protection. Like it really doesn't matter what you do at this point. But here you're just going to set the card or if you add a faker or if you add whatever, you just go from there. But essentially here, I just wanted to show you guys a two card combo to get into the new Altergeist Link 4. Again, mostly for going second. It also kind of depends what your hand is looking like because you don't always want to go into this card. I just wanted to show you guys a quick two card combo to get into this card if you need to go into it, right? This card is mostly better going into it like turns three turns four once you have an established board because as you guys can see right now at the moment it has nothing it's pointing to so it's not great in that sense however if you do end up on this board even actually going first if you think about it right if you do make this board going first and you search the manifestation on your opponent's turn you can manifestation summon back the multi faker multi faker summon the silquitus and now essentially you have the silquitus plus the faker plus the new link four right just another combo just i wanted to show you guys that this card's pretty good and uh, yeah just wanted to show you guys this combo as well so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm telling you, Altergeist is going to be a really, really, really good deck post Brothers of Legend. Try it out yourselves. I think this deck is going to be very underrated. People are not going to see it coming. And I'm telling you, this is like still a tier one deck. But thank you guys all for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And with that, Spanko, signing out. Peace.